and you've had him since October 4th, but you're just now letting me know on October 28th. Elena Singleton is hurting over the loss of her 22-year-old husband, Farouk Asaleilu, and she's angry about how the investigation is being handled. She says he worked as a private contractor under Sedan Service in Baltimore. She reported him missing on September 19th, two days after his last known ride. Elena says police told her his body was found on Peyton Avenue behind a vacant house. They said they took him to the chief medical examiner's office located on 900 West Baltimore Street in Baltimore City, Maryland. They took him there and he's been there as a John Doe since October 4th. Two days after he was reported missing, police found Farouk's car during a traffic stop on North Avenue. Elena says Baltimore County police told her a man and woman were inside of Farouk's car when it was pulled over and that they were questioned and let go because of a lack of evidence. The case is being investigated by Baltimore City Police now. They came yesterday and were showing no concern at all, telling me that nothing suspected as suspicious yet. Nothing suspicious yet. How is that not suspicious? How are you telling me the only thing that's left of my husband is bones? Baltimore police told 11 News Friday they're waiting for an autopsy to determine how he died. Farouk is a husband, a father, a son. He's a provider for his family. And what happened to him, he did not deserve this. He did not deserve this at all. Those is very much so foul play involved, and I will not rest until, they, until justice is served. Farouk leaves behind three small children, ages six, three, and six months. Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.